I like that. I just like, I had to check just to make sure it wasn't eight yeah. iron. Come on now, dude. Yeah. That's crazy to me. Yeah. Like that's... What's that, 20 yards? Easy. Guys, welcome to week 32 of my journey to scratch. This lesson was unexpectedly just amazing. I thought this lesson was gonna be just straight up calibration. I just really wanted Zach to look at my swing, make sure that everything was looking good, the numbers were looking good, et cetera, et cetera. For my first swing, he noticed that I wasn't making a full turn in my back swing. Once we started doing that properly, I sort of unlocked some speed that I didn't realize was there. Zach kind of pressed down on the pedal and he was pushing me to swing faster and faster to a point where like I felt a little uncomfortable, but then it just became the norm. It was just super, super exciting to see. The results were just absolutely amazing. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna stop talking now. Let's hop into the lesson. I'll catch you guys at the end where I'm gonna be kind of doing something a little bit different than what I'm used to. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Drop a like if you do, and I'll catch you guys at the end. See you then. You're a little pinned at the top. So when you're here, yeah. Get this back and then get this off your chest. Right? So feel that space versus yeah. that. Okay, so right here, Yeah. that's good? Yep. So if you look at when I'm at the top, see how I have this space in here? Yeah, versus, not here. Yep, yeah, exactly. So here, let me see your club real quick. Put your hands in front of your shoulders. Okay, now turn all together. That's kind of the feeling more. Sick. Perfect. So see how much space there is in here? Yeah. Versus pinning that against your chest. Gotcha. Why do you think this was happening? Also, what happens is people go back and their arms go here and see how my chest doesn't turn? Yeah. See how I turn everything together? Gotcha. So when I get up at the top, see how I'm there? Yeah. You're Doing my backswing with my arms instead of like with my torso, right? Yeah, exactly. So you want to feel like your torso and your arms move as one. So basically your arms are winning the race at the top. Bring it all the way up here. There we go. Now try and go fast to the top and stop. Okay. Without a ball? Yeah. There we go. So focus more on that. Yeah, it's like full. that. And there we go. So feel gotcha. the shoulders are past 90 more. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been going like right here. Yeah. So you're kind of here and pinned versus back and wide. Gotcha. That's right. That was like our first lesson was getting yeah. that shoulder over yeah. our right knee, right? There you go. Much better. Yep. I like that. Put your left hand on the club only. Okay. Now put your right hand behind your back and then now turn and then go to the top. There we go. Feel this space. Yeah. That's what you need to find. Okay. There we go. What gets you to that position? Okay. What do you feel different when that's like that? Just deeper. Yeah. Okay. Deeper? Yeah. yeah. It just feels like I'm just, I just keep going. That's I don't it. feel like anything's like restricting me, which yeah. is good, but like, just keep going. I just haven't done it. Yeah. I think that's what it is. So if you look at these two pictures here, Watch when he's up at the top. See how he's past 90? Yeah. And then the shoulders all the way back, left shoulders over the right knee. Same thing if you look at right here. See how much he's past 90? Yeah. Left shoulder, right knee. Nice, Ernie. That sounded better. There we go. There's your 161 carry. Let's go. Dude, look at that club path. Yeah, way out there. Golly. Mm -hmm. Don't even worry about it. Dude, that's wild. Because that's not going to stay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, if I try and get you to come back right now, then we're just having the same yeah. lesson all over again. No, dude, I'm happy. Like, yeah. I can never get yeah. that. Like, for sure. That's so sick. When I see people go to 10 for the first time, I know they're fixed. Sick. Well, we're almost there. Yeah. We're almost there. We can round up. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like a, like a stronger swing. It should. There we go. I like that look. There we go. So now look at the speed. You're up to 83. See how much better the left arm looks? Wow, dude. And then coming down, great drop. And then look how much more you're extending out towards the target. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, you really should be swinging this around 85. Okay. Just like something to strive for. Okay. I think tour average is 87. Okay. So, yeah. Sweet. Did it look... Can we play that like yeah. full speed? Yep. Like it felt like I couldn't control that speed a little bit. Okay. No, that it looked, looked balanced pretty good. to me. It looked pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. All right. I want you to feel uncomfortable right now as far as speed. Okay. I think Sweet. The, the days of swinging slow, yeah, I think you got to get, yeah. get past that. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get any better with, yeah, without you're not. getting more yeah, distance. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. That was what I want to see right there. There we go. Let's go faster. 
and Clubhouse still stayed positive, yep. which like that's I tend to see that once I start like getting the faster I go, the mm -hmm. more like over yeah. the shoulder you I try to go. You can't get this. It's got to be here and then go. Okay. So it's almost like a close. So if you look at my first move from the top, if I come down and see how I spin and open, yeah. See how everything comes here? Yeah. Versus if I do more of a close shift, see how the club naturally comes there? And then I can throw it out. Sick. I look fast. 83. Three. Now you feel like you're pushing off your right foot or not really? Not really. Okay, try and drive off your right foot. Okay. As I'm coming down, yeah? Yep. The first move down is push and drive. So feel like you're pushing off the rubber in baseball. Really okay. Drive off the mound. Yes. That looked fast, Ernie. Dude. There we go. And then you're keeping the path good. Dude, let's go. I'm so close. Does that dude. feel like everything you have? Um, I feel like I can get more. I okay. feel I feel like there's a little bit more in there. Yeah. Nice, 85. Let's go, there dude. you go. Club path came yeah. back a little but bit. See how path comes in, face stays open? That's where you lose all the distance. Okay. Yeah. So you just gotta feel like the arms really come behind you and throw out. Sick. There you go. That's the move right there. Feel how much the arms went backwards. So when you come negative, you come forwards. You kind of got more there. Sick. So a close shift and then throw. And throw out. Okay. Eighty-five. Just thin. Yeah. Just really and then thin. Face wide open. Wow, dude. Yeah. But just what happens is as you come down, see how the face is open. Yeah, there? yeah, yeah. You gotta twist it and roll it. Okay. That sounded better. There we go, 87. And I still kept it a little bit open. I was trying to roll yeah. it so bad. So I think if you would have closed that, that would have been 170 easy. Better at the top. Good job dropping down right there. And then you see how the right forearm is underneath the left forearm? Yeah. It's got to roll over earlier. So you're just twisting it late. Gotcha. Gotcha. Come down. See where your face is? Yeah. Your face needs to be looking at the target. Okay. Do that again. There, see how it's more at the target? Yeah. Versus when you're here, there's a lot of timing involved. Gotcha. Bring that up again. There we go, that's your move. That sounded better. That feel more square? It did. There you go. Three. There we go. Yeah, so there's your 83. So it's a push, yeah. but damn, dude. Yeah. And that was 83. Yeah. Okay, hell Why yeah, dude. Try and get 85 and a zero to a slightly negative face. Okay. Eighty-four, close. Come yeah. on. There you go. All right. Nice job. I like that. Hell yeah. So what was different there in your mind to get the face? There, as early as possible. Yeah. Like right here, I felt like I was already square. Yeah. Or at least like squared them. So what he, I thought he, was square. here's the mistake I see. So when people come down, some people have this fantasy of you know you can close it back here, but then what happens? You get no loft. And the, what the tour guys do that close it back here, then they throw it up here. So, I mean, it's a lot of movement going on, and people never think to do this frisbee throw back here. Gotcha. So, what I, I don't think that helps most people. Okay. They don't have the timing for their wrist to do this, and then this. Gotcha. Versus if you come down here, you got to have a little bit of loft on it, and then close it here. How do you feel like you're closing the club face? I'm trying to do it with my wrist. Feel, oh, no, you want to do it with your forearms. Okay. Yeah. So, like, there you go. Yes. There you go. Feel much easier it was to close? Yeah. Should be a better face angle. Come on. There we go, two. Sick. There we go. Wow. Nice. So I see people come down and they try and do it with their hands. So watch here. So if I come down and my forearms don't move, but I try and close with my hand, see how it's still open? Yeah. Versus watch if I move my whole forearm, see how the hand comes with it? Yeah. I think what, what scares me a lot of the times is the forearm, if the forearm does it, uh -huh. like I almost, I get so scared that my shoulder is going to go with it. Oh, I see. So, and I, I think that's why like I, it just happens with my hands because it's just like I'm trying to kind of dissociate the two. So if you think of a diagonal line right here, right? Uh-huh. So see how I'm swinging inside out on that diagonal line? Yeah. I can have my right arm underneath here and then I leave that open and block it, right? Yeah. Or I can come down and I can square it, it's a slight twist, see how the toe moves? Yeah. 
but then I continue on that diagonal line. So it's just as I stay on that diagonal line, see how I kind of roll it? Yeah. And my arms do it, but I'm not doing it with my hands. Gotcha. Gotcha. This is a death move right here. There you go. That sounded better. Oh, good. How much tension is in your left elbow? A lot, I think. Okay. So I think Listen the tighter up. this is, the more I'm going to block it. But the more relaxed this is, the more I can roll it over. Sweet. Ah, that sounded better. Two or three, probably. Three? Three. There we go. Nice. Wow, club path way out yeah. there. That's awesome. So let's take a look at that one. Good there. Coming down really nice. I like that. You're extending better. I had a better sound. I think a touch open, but starting to hit a lot better. Like that. <laughs> nice. Dude, that's insane, man. I like that. I just like I had to check just to make sure it wasn't eight yeah. iron, because yeah. dude, that's insane. Come on now, dude. Yeah. Like that that's that's crazy to me. Yeah. Like that's what's that, twenty yards? Yeah, easy. Mm -hmm. If I hit my range finder to the pin, it's one forty five and pulling out an eight iron. Yeah. That's so great. I, wow. I would fly I would fly the green. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. And I, I need it. I, yeah. I need it. I can yeah. get better. Like, yeah. the, more I, the more I realize it, like, mm -hmm. I, I need the yardage. There's no way I'm going to get better at this game. Like, it's so much, yeah. it's so much harder when you can't mm -hmm. hit it far. For sure. Like, there's people that hit pitching wedges this far. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I'm hitting a six iron usually. Yeah. Oh, my God, dude. Let's go. So speed is a skill just like club path, just like base angle. Like, it just it needs to be trained separately and independently. But I'm a big believer in get the technique right first, and then we can add all the speed we want. Sweet. Am I good to start adding speed? Yeah, I think so. Cause Sweet. Because of, of this. Yeah, it hasn't gone below two, I don't think. Yeah, so here's your average, your 4.8. Wow. But just look at your average on your face, so you're still 6.3. Wow. Yeah, so it's still higher yeah. than. Yep. I like it. I like the, the shoulder turn. I think that's been the big thing for me today. Yeah. It's like. A couple of my long term clients, I, I noticed just in the past like month or so, it's like, we started talking about the turn again, everything came back. No way. Yeah. And I, that was a, that's the first thing we worked on too. Mm -hmm. It was like that shoulder. I mean, I have it written yeah. down. I still have a little yeah. note, note card you gave me and it's mm -hmm. like left shoulder over right knee. Yeah. Like that's, that's where it starts because that gives you that space to be able exactly. to come in from the inside. Yeah. If you don't have that, like yeah. I, I kept getting pinned and I saw it on the videos too. Like I kept getting pinned right here yeah. and it's like there's that, this is the only option. Pinned is just, you can't do anything from pinned. Dude. Oh my God, Zach. Here. Cool. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, glad you I like appreciate it. you. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please drop a like if you did. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Subscribe, first of all. And then second of all, introduce yourself down below. I respond to every single one of my comments. Yeah, if you have any questions or anything, please drop them down below. Uh, I'll get to them, but also Zach sometimes goes through and responds to some of the comments as well. So in my last video, I had a lot of comments, which was just amazing, really, really cool. I was talking about my personal best for the season and a lot of you guys actually dropped in your personal best as well. So I just kind of wanted to give you guys a, a bit of a shout out. So first we have have pjo336 and he he let me know that he broke 80 for the first time shot a 77 it's just absolutely nuts dude congratulations that's amazing i hope you continue playing good golf and uh and keep letting me know uh how, how the season goes we have stefan t who shot his personal best on wednesday the only difference was that his personal best was a 105 dude a personal best is a personal best i hope you break 100 soon and you'll see that once you break 100 you're going to be breaking it a ton shout out to you keep me updated on your journey i'm sure you're going to be breaking that personal best pretty soon so last but not least we have deadly mantis who he's been uh commenting on my stuff since the very beginning so shout out to you deadly and this one's pretty insane so he actually shot his personal best which was a one under 71 and it was a bogey free round which is just insane shout out to you dog i mean that's that's what i strive to be one day and it's really cool to see thank you so much for all the support and uh and i wish you the best please continue updating me on how your rounds go on how your journey goes and uh and yeah that's pretty awesome and then if you want to take a lesson with zach i strongly encourage you to do it he works at a bridal wood country club in flower mound texas which is right outside of dallas everybody that i've sent his way has absolutely loved him i'm going to be putting right here all his ways to contact him just message him on instagram and you can kind of book a lesson that way. If you guys haven't checked out the previous lessons, I strongly encourage you 
to do that because a lot of the numbers and stuff that I'm that we we're just kind of talking about very easily we sort of explain a lot more in each of the lessons I know it seems like I kind of just unlocked it out of nowhere but in reality we've sort of built this foundation after four months of work so yeah make sure you check those out and uh, and let me know what you think and yeah I guess that pretty much does it guys I hope you all enjoyed the video please let me know if you did by smashing that like button subscribe if you're new introduce yourself down below and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend a wonderful week I hope your golf journeys are going well. I hope your golf season's going well and you're shooting low scores and I'll catch you guys next week. Take care.